In this problem, we need to determine the total moment caused by the three forces F1, F2, and F3 about the three points A, B, and C respectively. According to sign convention, counterclockwise is positive. This problem is quite straightforward. We are going to use the scalar formulation, resultant moment, or actually moment, caused by a force about a reference point equals to the magnitude of the force multiplied by the moment arm, which is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the point. And we determine the positive or negative sign uh, manually based on if the rotational effect is counterclockwise or clockwise. So let's first look at resultant moment about point A. Again, counterclockwise is positive. This equals to the sum of the moments caused by the three forces about point A respectively. So we're going to look at the three forces. The first one, F1 equals to 3 kN. And its moment arm, if we draw the line of action of F1, moment arm is the perpendicular distance from this point to the line of action. Therefore, this distance, as you can see right here, simply equals to 2 meter. So multiply by 2. And then, because the rotational effect caused by F1 about point A is clockwise, and we already said that counterclockwise is positive, therefore we manually add the negative sign to it. So that is the moment caused by the first force about point A. And then we move on to the second force. Its moment arm is, sorry, its magnitude is 4. Its moment arm from point A, again this is the line of action, and then we draw a line that starts from point A and it's perpendicular to the line of action of F2. This distance right here is the moment arm, and that equals to 2 plus 2, 4 meter. Therefore, multiply by 4. This right here, this force F2, is creating a counterclockwise rotational effect about point A. Therefore, its moment about point A is positive. And then moving on, we have force F3. Its magnitude is 2 kN. Its moment arm about point A. Again, we draw, we extend its line of action. This is its line of action. And then we draw from point A a line that is perpendicular to its line of action. This distance is its moment arm, and that is 1.5 meter. And because, as you can tell, uh, F3 is also creating a counterclockwise rotational effect. Therefore, about point A. Therefore, its moment about point A is also positive. So we do the calculation, and this equals to 13 in the unit of kilonewton meter. So that's the answer to the first part. Moving on, we need to summarize the moment about point B. Again, counterclockwise is positive. So point B is here. Again, we start with F1. Its line of action is in this direction. And then we draw a line that starts from point B and it's perpendicular to F1 line of action. And this distance is the moment arm, and that is 2 meter. So the magnitude of F1 is 3 times moment arm of 2 meter. The rotational effect is counterclockwise, so it is positive. So move on, moving on to F2. Now, because F2, as you can see, its line of action passes through point B. Therefore, even though the magnitude of F2 is not zero, the moment arm is. So F is not zero, but D is zero. Therefore, F2 simply does not have any moment about point B. So if you see a force that its line of action passes through a point, that force does not create any moment about the point. Moving on to F3, the magnitude of F3 is again 2 kN, and its line of action again is this line right here, and we draw a line that starts from point B, and it's perpendicular to F2's line of action. This distance is the moment arm 1.5 meter. 
again, F3 is creating a counterclockwise rotational effect about point B. Therefore, the moment is positive. We evaluate, and that equals to 9, again, in the unit of kilonewton per, uh, times meter. And lastly, resultant moment about point C, still counterclockwise being positive. Magnitude of F1, again, 3 kilonewton. Its line of action is here. Drawing a line from point C perpendicular to the line of action of F1. This distance right here is the moment arm 2 meter. Therefore, multiply by 2. F1 creates counterclockwise rotational effect about point C. Therefore, it's positive. Now, when we move on to F2 and F3, we see that the line of action of F2 and the line of action of F3 both pass through point C. Therefore, neither of these two forces has moment about point C. So we simply need to evaluate this part, and that is 6 kilonewton meter. And that answers this problem. We found the resultant moments created by these three forces about point A, B, and C, respectively.